as soon as Henry Cavill made the shocking announcement that he was leaving his role as the Witcher, that he was gone, that he would no longer be Geralt after season three, a lot of fans were pissed. Their Netflix went through a ton of backlash. Everything they put out got ratioed. And sure enough, now that the first part of season three is dropped and is actually here, the fans are speaking their minds. They do not like this season. They do not like the fact that they pushed Henry Cavill out the door. And if it was just people saying, I don't like this, that'd be one thing. But unfortunately for them, there is a massive problem when it comes to viewership. They have lost over half of their viewership from season two uh, because people are very unhappy with the route the Witcher's going. Witcher season three viewership crisis down 15% on season two, dropped 60% from episode one to episode five. So the 15% is from premiere to premiere. So the season two premiere that came out, the season three numbers are 15% down. If that's all it was, that wouldn't be good, certainly, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. The problem is that people didn't stick around for this. From, from episode one to episode five, it went from 1.1 million households to 500,000 households. And for season two, every single episode was over a million. There was no catastrophic fall off like that. They started their premiere with 1.3 million and every one of the eight episodes still had over a million people watch them within those first five to seven days. This is a catastrophe for The Witcher because it means a couple people came to check it out and the ones that did, the ones that did still give it a chance, they hated what they fucking saw. And now they're sitting there with half of their audience, over half of their audience walking away after what they did to Henry Cavill. This is an all-time disaster, and to be honest, it could be something that Netflix Seasons just decides to stop, to cancel everything, because there's no reason to continue on with the Witcher franchise if these are the numbers that they're pulling. Sounds like they uh, did themselves in. I didn't even know it was out, so there's that. There's been but almost yeah, no like hype that. or what anything what a disaster. It's like you had the formula. You had the recipe for success. You had the hype. And you went ahead and just said, I think we're going to change it because we know it's best. Because people are dumb. They'll watch it no matter what. It doesn't matter. I guess it does matter. And people are not dumb. I agree with you. I think they're done. This is it. There's I don't no know. Way. Like, uh, they've prop like, season four is under, like, production is, you know, reportedly underway. They wanted to film that in season five back to back, probably because they knew that, in all likelihood, they get shit canned. So they're trying to get as much of it filmed, like, while they can. That's my guess. So it doesn't get canceled. And they're just like, well, we made it already. You probably just want to put it out, right? That's the route that I think they're going to go with it. But this is, a, this is a testament that the fans are not happy with what they've done. Think about this. If this were normal, if they had seen that drop off for season two, then whatever. But no, here's the statement. According to Samba, all eight episodes of season two drew more than one million U.S. households during their first week of streaming after they debuted. That is not the case for season three. They've lost 60% of their audience they started with and over 50% of what they had for season two. A nightmare scenario for Netflix, but you get what you fucking deserve when you put people in charge that care more about activism and pushing their own agenda yeah. and identity politics than staying true to the source material. And you push a dude like Henry Cavill out the door, you get exactly what you fucking deserve. Absolutely. 100%.